hope everyone is having fun on Mitch at Night. Because coming up next is Late Night Update with your host Ellie Muller. A fun late night talk show about popular Hollywood celebrities which will be guaranteed to keep you folks at home entertained at this time of day. Afterwards, clear the stage for Skinner and the Superintendent. Believe us, folks. Chalmers is surely going to need his medication after the show. And to wrap tonight's program up, we have a story for you written by game developer Olin77 and his fellow men Rocky Burton and Pike the Ultimate. Tonight's program is going to be a blast, so please stay tuned on Nick at Night. The greatest late night talk show on Earth is pretty rare to come by these days. Whenever you watch this show, you gotta appreciate it, because unlikely that you'll see anything great like this again. This is week of uh, late. Let's go. Aka for brief love. Thanks for the uh, previews. You know, what? maybe I'm creating things for uh, the theme song. And never five one nine. Thanks for being vigilante. Okay. Other shout out, shout out winners. Here we go. Spike Spire Ken has fan edits. He's going to the Golden Fire. Mr. M has live streams. Let's Works got uh, gaming videos and things like that. Web Design 18 has his uh, has a podcast, some ranting videos and discussion videos and whatnot. Anthony Pe- the Anthony Pente show has random stuff and, and things like that, such as reactions and gameplays and whatever. And Alex K has animations. So, there you go. Now, it's time for uh, What's Up. Oh, wait. First, a lot of you uh, people don't know uh, what goes on behind the scenes. Well, or, or, or enough about what goes on behind the scenes. Let me uh, give you uh, an example, alright? You notice how back there, you know, normally you would see uh, my dad. Well, tonight he's not back there, and you know, the reason why is because, well, he had gotten into uh, an accident of some sort. All right? Don't worry, he'll be fine. You know, but uh, pray for me and my family. You know. And hopefully, it'll all be alright. Now, let's get into some what's up, huh? Look, what's up with Lucy Hale? A woman who has no talent at all. No talent whatsoever. She can't even act, and that's why she's on cable. She has a new project in the works. It's called Ragdoll, and it's on AMC. Huh? Really? It'll bomb. It will bomb. Trust me. Now, listen up. She started acting when she was a kid. Really? She did a lot. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Now she did a lot of odd and trashed up shows since then. And all of those shows got cancelled. Why? She's awful. And she's a goofball. Seriously. I mean, they have gotten better actresses and actors. And maybe uh, some of those trolls would have done well. But no, uh uh-uh. uh. They had to hire Lucy Hale. Shame, shame. Well, MP, Pink Cat, it's time for you to do uh, your signature uh, move here. The top eight list. Let's see where we're at. <laughs> Okay, what's the category? So it's category, top eight things that Lucy Hale likes. Number eight, grapes. Number seven, eggs. Number six, money. Number five, skunks. Number four, sweat. Number three, elephants. Number two, armpits. And number one, mud. Boys, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. You can still call it weeks now. Now here it is, your... 
down the night. Here on Tottleberry Lane, all cars must stop for bodybuilders. If they're not carrying dumbbells, <laughs> run them over. Some creatures landed from outer space. They gave off a funny green light. They said they traveled to our planet just to watch Nick at night. <laughs> You know, I get this question an awful lot. Is that carpeting from Empire really okay? Well, let me ask you, is world carpeting okay? Galaxy, Salem, Philadelphia, Georgian, Evans and Black? These are some of Empire's brands, the very same names you'll find in the stores. The difference is, we have most of it in stock, so you get delivery in 72 hours. You could call right now. 588-2300, Empire! Uh, I I'm ready to come down now, guys. Edward Scott and the boys, how are you doing all right? I'm doing all right! Listen, I'm going to pray for you and your family tonight, all right? Oh, thank you so much. You know what, it's not easy, but we're going to be all right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, my uh, family members have been uh, pretty sick. Oh, really? Yeah. You had the, uh, the flu recently. Oh, well, well, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. You're feeling all right tonight, all right? Yeah, all right. You take it easy, all right, buddy? All right, now, let's have some talking time. Let's have some talking time. Let's talk about it. Let's go. Let's talk about it. All right. Now, you know, Lucy Hale recently got into her, uh, her next uh, smallest, uh, her next small television program. This time it's on the AMC television network. And it's called Ragdoll. But it's based on the fictional novel by Danielle Cole. This one, Lucy, plays uh, DC Lake Emma. A new recruit working alongside two members of the London Metrop Metropolitan Police. Nobody knows uh, too much about this whole thing. However, you know, uh, you know there are six people. You know what? This whole series is about mystery surrounding six people who have been murdered, dismembered, and sawn into the shape of one grotesque body. Nicknamed the Rag Dog. I know, very interesting. Of course, here's the thing. I, I don't think that uh, a mystery uh, program is perfect for Lucy Hale's uh, type of uh, acting. I think that she would uh, be better off doing uh, a parody of a parody of America's Finest Home Videos. Why? Because, let's be honest. You know what? Her acting is so bad. It's so bad that it actually made Daisy Fuentes and John Fugel saying uh, actually entertaining by comparison. So, I'm on. But anyway, people uh, have given her some uh, virtual claps on social media. I don't know why. Because like I said, it's on the AMC network. Nobody's going to watch it. Nobody's going to see it. Alright? 
you know, I'm serious. Nobody's going to see that show. All right. So what's the point now? Now Lucy Hale began acting. You know, at the age of 15. You know, when she came out to Hollywood. You know, for pilot season. And uh, for some odd reason, you know, uh, her career uh, quickly began to take off. You know, after a few months. You know, which uh, makes no sense. You know, she did movies such as, you know, The Sisterhood or The Traveling Pants 2. And she also did uh, a television show known as Three Little Lives. Which, of course, got cancelled because nobody saw it. Now, here's the thing, okay? They also, they also did other shows, such as A.D. King, Privilege, and Light Sense. No, actually, yeah, she did all those shows. And we know that her show Ragdoll is going to have only six episodes. So I guess you can call it the limited series on television. <laughs> but anyway, apparently, Lucy Hale is worth six million dollars, and she receives forty-two thousand dollars for every episode of every television show that she films. You know, and <laughs> forty-two thousand dollars per episode. I guess that's a small price to pay, you know, for Hollywood, especially considering the fact that Hollywood has chosen a pretty bad actress. I mean, seriously. You know, the only reason why she got all those gigs, gigs is because of the fact that, you know, uh, nobody really cares about her that much. You know, and so, there you go. Now, that is the show for tonight. You know, before we, we go, I just want to say to everybody, you know, please make sure that you care about your loved ones. All right? And please pray, you know, for your loved ones and for yourself and for others as well. Because you never know what's going to happen to you next, right? With that, Amount of love and respect, you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Alright, that's news. I'm out, Keith. Go all by for all. Some creatures landed from outer space. They gave off a funny green light. They said they traveled to our planet just to watch Nick at night.